comparing two fractions using cross-multiplication. This is a superb math shortcut when you have to compare two fractions with different denominators, so I really want you to get what I'm going to show you today. First, you must be able to compare fractions by making new equivalent fractions. If you can't do that yet, click on the link to see this stuff made easy in my fractions playlist. Still here? Great, you're ready. Let's say I have to compare two fractions and say which is largest, two thirds and five eighths. This is a typical question you're going to get in grade six, so let's go for it. So far, our quickest way has been to make equivalent fractions. To do this, we need a common denominator. The easiest way to make a common denominator is by multiplying the two denominators together, whatever they are. Three times eight is 24. I'm greying this out because what's important here is the numerators. To get 24, I multiply 3 times 8, so I have to multiply the numerator by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. And I multiply 8 by 3 to get 24, so I have to multiply 5 by 3. 5 times 3 is 15. We can instantly see the size difference thanks to our equivalent fraction numerators. 16 is greater than 15, so 2 thirds is greater than 5 eighths. This cross pattern we used to get our new numerators is why this is called cross multiplication. And remember, the new numerator value belongs under the old numerator. Let's do another one using cross multiplication. 5 sixths and 8 tenths. If we were making a common denominator, it would be 60. I'll put it in so it feels familiar to you, but we know we don't need it. The important thing here is what's going on with the numerators. 5 times 10 is 50, and 8 times 6 is 48. 50 is greater than 48, so if I circle the greater fraction in the originals, 5 sixths is greater than 8 tenths. And that is cross multiplication. Fast or what? Last one, then it's over to you. Which is bigger, two sevenths or three elevenths? The denominator would be 77, and I'm not bothering with that, but for the numerators, two times 11, 22, and three times seven, 21. We can see that two sevenths is greater than three elevenths. This is a mathematical shortcut to finding the size difference between a pair of fractions with different denominators. I really want you to understand what you're doing. So before trying this out, write an explanation that makes sense to you in your math book. You can rewind the video and use my examples if you like. This way, when it comes up again next year, and it will, you can quickly grab your book, remind yourself of what you learned now, and ace it in no time. Once you've got the note in your book, go to it. Compare fraction pairs using cross multiplication and build your math muscle. As always, if this film helped you, please click the like button to help me too. Thanks a lot, and see you next time.